Pacific Tall Ships in Lamont has some amazingly intricate model ships for sale and a bigger-than-life owner with a violent past. Hello, is this Mr. Egan? Yes. Dennis, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is your business, Pacific Tall Ships. Mm-hmm. And we build uh, museum-quality model ships here. The old galleons primarily are what we build. It got started with this boat right here. You're in the tugboat business yes. also, right? right? Yes, we are. We're, these are models of, of boats that we actually operate. Bill Hartman is our master builder. And you, you're the guy that designs the actual models for all these all ships? All of them. Some of them are actual kits that I modify and then uh, teach the people that I uh, have building them. Who are they? Who? I have uh, 38 people in the Philippines. In the Philippines? Mm -hmm. We took him to uh, Manila and taught the trade. And we now, why Manila? Well, I was working in Manila anyway. Can I ask you what you were doing in Manila? What work you were doing? Uh, Mount Pinatubo. You had a volcano that blew up there. What does a tugboat uh, owner uh, have to do with a, a, a volcano, though? We do a lot of different things. We're into aviation and uh, the marine business and a little bit of everything. you got a cigar business next door. We also have the cigar business. We make those in the Philippines also. How long does it take you to build, say, one of these these cutty sarks or something from beginning to end they they average out about a thousand man hours many times uh, you make a mistake in your calculations or whatever what do you do for a boat that you've you've, you've got you're working on and something goes wrong it's not perfect what do you, what happens to those boats i stomp it <laughs> start again that's a beauty sovereign of the seas that was an english fighting ship it's a beautiful boat it's thirteen thousand dollars now who, yeah. who, are your, who are your clients for most of these boats well, uh, people who have money. Yeah. There's probably, I don't know, 20, 25 uh, world leaders that have these things, now, including Bill Clinton. This is one that, a German fighting boat that ended up going to uh, Chancellor Cole. The King of Spain got one of the Spanish galleons, uh, the Sultan of Brunei. That's uh, from the Queen of England. You grew up somewhat poor, correct? I was poor. I'm still a little poor. I don't know how you could say that. I'm down to my last 30 million. Can you tell us a little bit about your background? I read where you, uh, you've actually been shot three times, stabbed twice, and run over. Well, I spent... Is 20... that all in Lamont? No, no, no. I spent 20 years as a policeman, and I was in Vietnam. So, I mean, yeah. these are not places where you go for uh, sun... Fun and pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. So... Any good scars you want to show us? No, I don't think so. The Vasa is uh, uh, a Swedish ship that uh, he tacked it improperly on her maiden voyage and he rolled her gun ports under and sank it on her maiden voyage. It's a sight that you ought to see, but if you want a replica of it, we You can it. give you $11,000. Eleven five. Sorry. That's a pirate jump. Uh -huh. Is that a historically accurate model? The La Amistad was filmed uh, by using the uh, Pride of Baltimore II. And that is actually the plans for the Pride of Baltimore II. Ah. That's a Greek vessel. Um, was a, with what they referred to as a galley boat. Inside was where the slaves uh, rode the oars. That was a tough gig. Yeah, uh, life expectancy was four years. It was one of those ones where you never tipped the drummer. <laughs> you know, if the people buy them, that's fine. If they don't, I don't care because there isn't one of them that I wouldn't want to keep. Yeah, you get 16 other businesses if this thing falls through. Dennis, if somebody wants to come by and visit your store here or maybe purchase a ship, what should they do? Uh, come to Lamont, 106 Stephen Street. The phone number is 630-243-1277. That feeling a little seasick.